Hi, this is Professor Mike Strahan, Library Liaison to the Northern Michigan University School of Nursing. In this video, we are going to explore the Undergraduate Nursing Library Guide. Over on the right-hand side, when you need assistance, you can reach me, email, phone, Zoom, you can schedule an appointment, and you can also reach me via live chat. If you're going to live chat with me, I recommend clicking on the green button. It will expand the window into a separate window and allow you more space to interact with me through live chat. Keep in mind this is different from texting. If I'm offline, you will be prompted to contact me through some other means. As we look at the tab setup, the first is a link to this video. The next tab is when I'm available at the reference desk. I change this every semester. This is for the current fall 2019 semester. It doesn't mean I'm only available at the reference desk. You can also reach out to me through those other means, and I also meet with students in my office. The next tab is Board Vitals. The library has a subscription for that. I have links for initial registration and also after you register how to access Board Vitals. If you're directed by your instructor to use this resource, please also contact them for further details. We have a set of videos, instructional videos, on how to use various library provided databases. So the primary databases you will be using CINAHL, PubMed, and PsycInfo, just the psychology database. As I create additional videos, they will be added to this tab. Click on databases to access our subscription resource. It is critical you use our links. Once you land on a database, please do not bookmark that landing page. Instead, bookmark this library guide and use the links provided here. This is such as CINAHL plus with full text, PubMed, formerly known as Medline, PsycInfo, like I said, this is the psychology database. Cochrane Library is used for evidence-based practice. They have your own set of, of online tutorials. Google Scholar and CQ Researcher. CQ Researcher is used for nursing issues class. We also have a link to sociological abstracts along with social services abstracts itself, dealing with social work. Anatomy TV, Eric, and Westlaw. Westlaw is for legal research. I have a separate tab to the library catalog. Allows you to do keyword searching, title searching. Also, you can search MALCAT, a statewide library system for borrowing, currently borrowing books and videos, RoCAT, Worldwide Library Catalog, and also the local Peter White Public Library. The APA Style Guide is a tab that is part of the Nursing Undergraduate Guide. I have a separate video that explains the various components of this. The primary one you'll be using are the reference examples, but I also have in-text citations. I have how-to videos, things like that. Click on the Drug Info tab. There are currently four resources that we provide online access to, including the latest edition of Davis's Drug Guide for Nurses. The ANA code, you'll be using that throughout your program. I provide a link to our license access to that resource. I also give an example of how to reference the code. Whether you're, regardless of what section of the code you're going to be referencing in your papers or care plans, this is the same reference you're going to use for all of that. Highly credible websites. Looking for more information, patient information, we highly recommend you use one of these sources, either the Cleveland Clinic, Mayo Clinic, I have a direct link to the CDC and the World Health Organization. Highly recommend using home code approved web pages and you access them through
through this separate search engine. It does exclude government sites, but it actually looks at and approves web pages that are regularly maintained and provide accurate health information. Some of your instructors may actually have in their syllabi a requirement that you're only allowed to use home code approved pages. This is how you access that resource. Medical dictionaries. We have three of them online available for you to use. Stedman's, Tabor's, and also the National Library of Medicine has Medline Plus. As I go through these different tabs and resources, keep in mind that some may change, some may get updated. You may also see more resources available under those tabs. Diagnostics. We have a number of online diagnostic resources, including Davis's Diseases. We also have nursing diagnosis definitions and classifications. EBP, evidence-based practice. We have a link to the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. It's often used in the nursing research class and other courses. A link again to Cochrane Library and some other resources that are tied to evidence-based practice and models. Multimedia. We have a number of subscription resources. The first one is Jomi. Jomi is the Journal of Medical Insight Surgical Videos. These are online recorded for the most part of actual procedures, whether they're 20 minutes long or three hours long. They're narrated by the surgeon themselves. They also give you pre-op information such as images. They also give you related sources, related references to the procedures themselves. These are used multiple cameras. It is highly credible, highly reliable resource. Please use it for both MedSurge 1 and also MedSurge 2. We have two AORN safety videos we provide online. We also have a series of videos from the Jove Science Education Collection. Another online subscription resource. You do not have access to this after graduation. The Jomi you do, we have it broken down by clinical skills videos, including physical exams and nursing skills. We also have a set of psychology videos and also neuroscience videos. We also have a subscription to Films on Demand. Multiple topics, not just nursing. DSM-5, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition. We have the official online subscription to this resource. We also provide you with two different reference examples. One, how to reference a specific section specific chapter. Each chapter is assigned its own DOI. We also have how to reference the entire work. Like I said, this is APA style current edition. Ebooks. We have ebook collections including StatRef, Academic Complete, and also EBSCO ebook academic. Looking for statistics, I have a number of statistics web pages. Anatomy TV, you want a refresher on anatomy? We have a unlimited subscription to anatomy TV, 3D models, clinical settings. This is a huge resource available to you. Also have career information for health and clinical sciences. It has its own separate sections. This is for nursing, so you can click on the nursing one. Also have resources for after graduation, for reserves materials, and we also have for the new interactive library map. There's a link to the map. It goes through and explains all the different locations, noise areas. We've changed them in summer of 2019. A lot of different other resources. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.